Hello viewers, today in this video you will come to know about why one eye is myopic or hyperopic and other eye is normal. First, you need to know the name of this condition. It is called as anisometropia. Now let's see what is anisometropia. Anisometropia is the condition in which the two eyes have unequal refractive power. Generally, a difference in power of two diopters or more is the accepted threshold to label the condition of anisometropia. This is normal right eye with image on retina and it has zero diopter power. And this is myopic left eye with image in front of retina. It has more than negative two diopters. Difference of one diopter in two eyes causes a 2% difference in the size of two retinal images. Now let's come back to our main topic why one eye is myopic or hyperopic and other eye is normal. If one eye is myopic or hyperopic and other eye is normal, this condition is called a simple anisometropia. The first image is right eye myopic and the second image shows the normal left eye. Now why do you think simple anisometropia occurs? There are two possible causes of simple anisometropia. The first one is congenital and developmental. This occurs due to different growth of two eyeballs. The second one is acute, which is caused due to uniocular absence of lens, wrong eye oil power, trauma to one eye, keratoplasty in one eye, and asymmetric age changes. Now let's see what are the symptoms of simple anisometropia. Untreated anisometropia can cause a variety of symptoms including poor depth perception, dizziness, headache, nausea, and visual discomfort. What if we don't treat anisometropia? It may lead to amblyopia in which the brain begins to ignore the visual inputs from the weaker eye. It may also lead to strabismus, the condition in which one or two eye gets misaligned and not able to focus both the eyes on the same point in space. Diplopia It is caused due to misalignment of eye and two images are formed of a single object leading to eye strain, headache, sensitivity to light, dizziness and etc. Now let's see how to diagnose simple anisometropia. The first one is retinoscopy. In normal eye, reflex will be neutral with working distance power. In abnormal eye with working distance power, we will able to see with the movement in hyperopia, against the movement in myopia, oblique movement in astigmatism. Second, word for dot test. If right eye is normal and left eye is suppressed, then two red is seen by the patient. If left eye is normal and right eye is suppressed, three green is seen by patient. The third one is Duchrome test. In normal eye, letters on both background are seen equally clear. If the eye is myopic, then letters on red backgrounds are seen clear. If the eye is hyperopic, then letters on green backgrounds are seen more clear. What is the treatment for simple anisometropia? From earlier slides, we came to know about the causes and diagnosis for simple anisometropia. Now let's see about the treatment. The first one is eyeglasses. We prescribe plus lens for hyperopia and minus lens for myopia. Second, contact lens. We prescribe contact lens in high refractive error and for cosmetic purpose. Third, refractive corneal surgery. Under this, we perform radial keratotomy, photorefractive keratectomy, automated lamellar keratomyelosis, and laser in situ keratomyelosis.
If you find this video informative, please subscribe Smart Optimetry for more information and videos.